Hi, so welcome to the next episode of the video blog. Um, this weekend's been a really busy one. We went down to Tamworth uh, for the weekend with family on Friday. Uh, we stayed down there till Sunday and came back. We had a few friends up. We went out Sunday night, had a few drinks. Uh, Chinese takeaway on the way home, always adds to the fun. And then on Monday, we had a bit of rope fun. Um, you'll see a bit more about this as we go through the blog. Okay, so let's cover it bit by bit. Um, first up was the Tamworth excursion. Uh, we went down on Friday, uh, stopped in a local hotel um, with the restaurant next door. Then on Saturday we went to Drayton Manor theme park. Uh, loads for the kids, took the kids along, they loved it. They loved every minute. Um, mainly I think because all the ride heights were about their level. It was all, as long as you were over 1 meter 30 you were safe and thankfully both hours. Both of the children are, um, so Martha was well away, so was Joe. For me, I just wanted to concentrate on the day. I didn't have any real focus on keeping my blood glucose in a certain level and tight as possible. I just wanted to enjoy the day. Um, for that reason, I let it slip a bit. I just didn't concentrate too much, but I knew I had the smart guard protection in the background. I was constantly checking the blood glucose. You can see from the graph that I went up and down a few times. Um, smart guard kicked in a couple of times as well, can't see that on the graph sadly, um, but it did the job. We were there from the morning, we got in about 9 o'clock and we left about half past 5 after the final ride. On the big roller coasters I disconnected the pump um, just so that any g-force wasn't causing any problems. Just left that in the bag by the side in the safe storage while we were on the ride. Uh, there was only ever one car in action on all the rides. So I knew the pump wasn't going anywhere, no one would take my bag back. It wasn't disconnected for too long. Um, some of the time I was on suspend anyway, so that wasn't a problem. Quick blood test occasionally, not a lot on during the day. Um, I was using the sensor primarily as a blood glucose measure and it did pretty well. It did okay. Um, you can't turn off from your diabetes, but it gave me a chance to sit back a bit and not take, not be too focused on it. So on the Sunday we came back, we drove up a uh, two hour drive again, the sensor was on my lap as I was driving up just to see if there were any trending arrows. I did my blood glucose before we set off, perfectly safe, good level, um, and it kept that way all the way up. So although it's not approved by the DVLA um, for measuring blood glucose, it was a way just to check that nothing was going up or down. It was only a two hour drive, we didn't stop along the way, so it was straight up, job done. And on Sunday night we had friends up, uh, we went to local bar. We so some live music, which was really good. Um, and then we left at about half past nine, stopping off at Chinese on the way back. I'd already had quite a few beers by that point. Um, so considering I had some rice and some really sticky um, sweet food, I don't think it was too bad. Uh, counteracted the alcohol that we'd taken on board during the night, uh, which was good, but not something to repeat every day, obviously. <laughs> So, Monday was a big day for me and the weekend. We were visiting the Via Ferrata at Honister. Gave a preview on it on the last block. We'll come to that in a bit later when Martha's involved. We left about quarter to seven, which was a very early start after the night before. Um, we picked up my sister and my nephew. I took my friend Joe. Um, he signed up to it without actually knowing what was going on, um, which he mm, slightly regretted later on, but I think he got through it okay. Um, we went and picked up my sister and my nephew and we drove up to Honister. Um, on the way up it was really really foggy and misty and we were convinced we won't see anything. Um, so let's now link to some video and pictures from the day. Uh, you can see how it was and what the weather was like when we got up there. Good morning. So today we're off up to the Honestus Via Ferrata on the slate mine this morning. It's beautiful. Um, sat now says, um, sorry, pump says 8.1. Historically, we've had problems viewing that. Can we see it? No, we can't. So rather than me, let's have a look at the view. We can see beautiful down the valley. We've come up over the cloud. What a sight. Let's do a pan around. So how glorious is this? There's some people with the dog. There's the old Honister slow man that we're going to be going around. There's our people. Hello, people. That's where we're going. My sister, nephew, and friend Joe. So, let's put it back. Let's. So, in my bag today, I'll have the usual supply of sweets, um, hopefully, keeping me 
at a good level. Um, I'll set a temporary basal, uh, probably about 80% full day because there's a bit of exercise, well quite a bit of exercise involved but I don't want to go too too safe because um, I know that there'll be patches where we just stood around quite a bit so I don't want to go set my temporary basal too low. Uh, so I set about 8% see how we do with that. Um, keep an eye on it all, all through the morning. If I'm going too low I can have some sugar or allow the smart guy to kick in. Let's see how we do. Okay, speak to you later. Okay, so I've just done the calibration. Um, so maybe 6.8 on the meter and 8.0 on the pump. Uh, there's tracking slowly down, so it's about in range. Um, so that'll do for now. I'll have a little bit to eat before we go. Uh, one last view of the beautiful scenery. Yeah. And then we'll see you in a bit. So this was a view down the valley. You can see the cloud as we were setting up the day. That was our little group getting together, ready to go. And as we were waiting for the bus, the cloud actually rose up. So before we got onto the bus, the cloud was around the around the vehicle, and it slowly lifted up into the valley so we went higher and higher and higher and we got above it again and the views were fantastic looking down you can just see the cloud on the top that's us on the first descent descending into the unknown because we couldn't see the bottom at that point and slowly it's wisping over absolutely fantastic views they can see us climbing down there's me holding the, a 640G uh, giving you a good look uh, just proving that it's doing its job Lots of clipping on, clipping off again, um, just doing our best, going across the mountainside there, and there were little footholds to put your feet on, it wasn't my favourite part of the journey, uh, it was a little bit scary on the front. And that's going across the canyon, it was very bouncy, very windy, you had to keep your elbows in, which I didn't know, and the guide only told everyone else behind me, so I was wobbling all over and struggling a bit. And finally we got to the top, some great views over the top, over the fells, looking down onto Buttermere, which is down in the bottom, there we see. And some great views. Everyone was really proud to have made it, there's still some cloud down there, um, but it was a great journey up. And we did one final leap for the camera. So, we made it to the top. Uh, well, smart guy worked. I managed the preset basal I had for 85 percent um, set me through all the way. I had a couple of fruit pastels. Take a still of the graphs so you'll be able to see. But it's worked really well. And you can have a look at the view from the top, which is outstanding. So, all in all, the pump works well, and so did the sensor. Too. Smart guide wasn't needed because I never drove that much. Cool, on. time to go down. See ya! So there's the line for the day, pretty happy with that, fairly flat and just dropping down just before our lunch when we got to the bottom, which was pretty good. And there is the lunch itself, a uh, half eaten sandwich, bag of crisps and a lovely piece of flapjack, well deserved I reckon. Okay, so what a fantastic day it was. Let's have a look at the graph to see how we did during the day. Um, we can put some meat behind the figures that you saw there. So we started the day at a low, um, the smart guard had kicked in during the night because Obviously needed it after the food and the alcohol doing what it did. Um, kept, kept me going through. Woke up about 6 o'clock. Um, there was a slight correction there on the line. That was from the calibration of the sensor. And then we had a bit of breakfast. Um, slowly dropped me down into range. Kept me going nicely. 9 o'clock. Took a little bit more food on board. And I'd also set a temporary basal at 80%. For general exercise, knocking around such as gardening, washing the car, that type of thing. That's what I set it at. I knew it was going, not going to be an overly strenuous activity. Today it wasn't a smart guard day really. It, but that was there as always as the backup. Today was a good CGM day. Where I could always just take the pump out of my pocket. Have a good look. Graph two tools along after the food. Uh, drops down a little bit. We took some more. Uh, carbs on board after 12 which was when we finished uh, that was on our, my lunch and then later on it drops drops a bit down after we met for some tea um, then you enter in the usual nighttime uh, basal bolus activities so it was a day when the smart guard was it was there but it wasn't the main focus and the main advantage of the system it was a CGM day it was a day for just looking in your pocket having a look see what the number is 
If you need a B, take on a sweet or two. Um, if not, just carry on. And that's predominantly what I did. Took a few sweets at the top of each climb, uh, but nothing major. Um, generally, that was just give a boost of energy as well as keep my carbs up. Everyone needs a boost. Uh, I was sharing them around quite happily because I was fairly confident and I had plenty in supply as well. Um, as you can see, we were all really happy about the day. It was fantastic sights, fantastic scenery. Our support there was fantastic. We, our tour guide was a guy called Adam. He showed us what to do. I'm sure he'd done the trip thousands and thousands of times, but he still made it interesting. Doing it in a really pleasant, really happy manner. Thoroughly recommend the Honest to Slate Mines to anyone who is up in that direction. And the Via Ferrata Extreme is the way to go. Absolutely fantastic. They really loved it. And my friend Joe, who was really scared of heights and really wasn't keen at the start, came through it and at the time he was like, oh, I don't know about this. But he got to the end, across the certainly across the canyon gorge, which you'll have seen in the pictures, um, it was a bit scary. And that's the main picture on the blog this week. Me looking backwards and it fell a long way down and that wire wasn't very steady. It was very wobbly, especially with Adam um, kindly kicking the wire and bouncing us up and down to keep us going. It was a bit scary, but it was fun. Recording. Oh, right. Right. Hey, Martha. Hi. Hi. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I had a fab weekend. What did we do? Um, we went to Drayton Manor. Drayton Manor. Did you like Drayton Manor? Yes. What was your best ride? Um, G-Force. G-Force. Was that an upside down ride? Yeah. Were you tall enough to go on an upside down ride? Just about. Just about. Was it scary? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. I enjoyed Drayton Manor. We went to a haunting house. We went in the haunting house, what, at Drayton Manor? Yes. Was that scary? Very scary? Yes. How scary? Completely scary. My heart was beating very fast. Was it upsetting? It was like... <laughs> cool. So, on Monday, we did the Via Ferrata, me and John, okay. which was... You'll have already seen the video of it. You've seen the pictures, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yes. It was very exciting. Mm -hmm. What did you do on Monday? I actually um, just stayed and played. Stayed and played? I think. That's what seven-year-olds do though, isn't it? Uh, so, have you got any questions for me this week? Yes. Have your senses been painless? Have my senses been painless? Everyone so far, apart from one this week. I did a sense change on Thursday, uh, which hurt going in. I thought it was going to be okay, because uh, sometimes you get a little bit of pain going in, then it settles out, mm -hmm. but it didn't. It was a bit like a set change. Um, some, for those who use an insulin pump, sometimes a little bit of a twinge going in. Um, and the twin stays and you think sod that after a few days and take it out. That must really hurt. It did, it was sort of a background pain. The one that really got annoying, yeah. so I had to rip it out. Um, mm. But the new one was fine, so that's worked okay. And it's tracked okay, and that's helped me over the weekend with everything that we've done. That was good. Yeah. So can you remember what happened yesterday when we were at the park? Yes, um, my dad's, when he was getting out of the car, yeah. his... Um, pump so his set sort of slipped out so then he had to go all the way back home which is a 15 minute trip um to change that's spot on that's exactly what happened um normally i carry a spare set with me so i could have done it out and about at the park uh but yesterday i forgot to take it mm -hmm. so i had to come back i left you at the park with joe and the boys didn't i yeah what did you do while i was gone um we played a game of football we played a game of football and then i joined in when we got back yeah. and who was best at football me <laughs> which team won mine who was on your team um me my dad and my brother so me yeah so i was the reason we won <laughs> why did we win because of me that's you. All right, high five for the football. Yeah, yeah there we go. Um, so it was good. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about? No. No? I think we're done? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it for this week. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'm not sure what we'll do next week. Um, no. Any suggestions, put it on the old comment section. That's good. It's a bit late at night now, so we better get inside, get showered, yeah. get to bed. Yeah. All right, so we'll say good night. Bye. And cut! So, there was one thing I forgot to put onto my film. That's <laughs>